Hey guys, this is Bex, and I'm here with a quick walkthrough of the Google resource called Digital Comparing Fractions with Fraction Bars. So the first thing I always say that folks should do is show your students how this works on an Apple TV or smart board. Second thing is make your sure your students, if you haven't done this in a while, make sure they remember the magic undo button because guarantee you with movable pieces, they'll disappear and go upside down and stuff. But the undo button fixes just about everything. Now, in this resource, there are different types of slides. The first slide, the students are gonna click and drag this red circle um, to show the fraction shown by the fraction bar, like so. Okay, so there are, I think, 10 of those. Then the next kind of slide, the students are gonna use these visual fraction bars to answer the question. And they type here in this text box. And it's not, it's gonna come out center to the left, that's fine. If students are excited or they're tech savvy, they can go up here and change it. <coughs> okay, so then after students practice those, there are quite a few of those types of questions. Let me just show you a few different examples. We've got not comparing ninths to thirds. We have using fraction bars to help you compare the fractions. You, they have to complete this greater than, less than, or equal equation using the fraction bars to help them. And these are all clickable, which is where the undo button comes in handy. So this is paperless, so you don't have to drag papers home. You just need to go into Google Classroom to see how your students did. Now there's one more final kind of slide, which gives the students a little bit of directions down here in the speaker notes. So they're going to explain which is larger, three-fourths or one-half, and how they know. So three-fourths is larger because, and um, if students are using this, they should be able to click and drag the box over um, if they want to. All right, if you have any questions, please let me know, but I hope this is a great way to engage your students in a different way in comparing fractions. I think it'll be great at centers for morning work, whatnot. Thanks.